Hi guys, this is Durga Diana from Empathic Moon 777 and I want to welcome you to this reading. It's going to be a twin flame reading. It's up to spirit reading. I offer this as a personal service if you're interested in getting this type of reading for yourself. Um, so in this reading, we're going to look at two situations and then we're going to see what is going to be happening with those energies. All right. And this can be up to spirit what they want to bring forward for the highest good of all for our collective, our twin flame collective at this time. Please don't forget to leave a like or subscribe if this energy resonates with you and be sure to um, support in any way that you can. It's really greatly appreciated through our metaphysical shop or like purchasing like let's say um, a divine uh, protection or divine love um, item, you know, anything. It's just really great even just liking. It's all good. I really, really appreciate it. And um Thank you guys for the support and the love and uh, be sure to also check us out on TikTok and Instagram. All right, so we'll get started for the Twin Flame um, Collective and I hope you guys are all doing well and this reading finds you in a good way. All right, all right, so the first situation spirit that you want to bring to the Twin Flame Collective's attention, thank you. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is connected to a uh, feminine that is very um, stable, secure. So this is, oh my goodness, look at this. High Priestess too. Um, so very strong feminine energy here. And um, it's about an investment, all right? I do feel like this is you because we have the feminine here basking in her abundance she looks very happy she looks very peaceful she is very abundant so there's something here you know there's something here um in your abundance spirit is wanting to bring to attention about you and your money and your stability and something that your intuition is telling you i'm going to find out here this is your clear cognizant energy this is your spiritual gifts this is you as the divine feminine. The high priestess is divine feminine energy. And um, we're going to find out more about this high priestess. Okay. High priestess. Okay, there it is. Teaching and learning here. Okay, so there is something here involving... The you being a teacher or you and your counterpart um, teaching each other, learning from each other, right? So that going on in the connection, your intuition, like it could be you guiding this, you following your intuition with this teaching and learning aspect, like what you know, this could be your beliefs with this teaching and learning, where things are at in terms of this teaching and learning of the connection, um, and then that understanding and you being in your stability and your security spirit is, spirits bringing you a message with this. Okay. And at the bottom here, we have perseverance. So it's you continuing to be in that abundant energy. Um, and that abundant energy is like stability, being stable within yourself, nurturing your coin, nurturing the, the people around you. And just feeling very grounded and very feminine and very like in your own energy. You know what I mean? It's like uh, you're in your own sovereignty, basically. So we're going to find out what the message is in relation to this. And then we're going to see the second situation here. All right. So thank you so much. Let's see the second situation here you want to bring forward for our collective. Thank you so much. Okay, here's the next card. Ooh, Ten of Swords here. So this, they're wanting to talk about uh, the painful ending here. Okay, we're going to find out more. Ten of Swords, okay. And then we have the Star card. So there is... Um, The pain associated with your wishes, the 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 all of the all of the swords that have been placed upon you to kill you, 
uh, to bring you down to hurt you, uh, to keep you in to not uh, to keep you in a lower energy, to keep you not in your power, to keep you in a state of fear, to keep you in a state of like unhealthiness. All right, and and this connected to your wishes here. We have the unknown. Okay, so they're they're speaking about the unknown. Who and some kind of brutal, painful attack on somebody. This could be you. That they were trying to leave you for dead. Or this could be your person, or this could represent the connection as well. Um, that in relation to your wishes, we're gonna find out what the star card star card is. Okay, what is the star card, please and thank you? Thank you. Okay, so the environment came out, it came out in the reverse here. It came towards the Queen of Pentacles here. I do feel it's a connected to the feminine here. So the environment here, it came in the reversed. So the environment is any place that you are dwelling. You could be in another environment. You can be in your own environment. There's different environments, right? And so we have here the bottom of the deck, unknown and change. So this could be in the context of the time when somebody was left for dead. They were alone, left for dead with their, this wish is, was connected to an unhealthy environment because their environment is in reversed the healing of this unhealthy environment. So we're going to see what the message is here in relation to that. Okay. So I am going to get one more card here for the high priestess. High priestess. Actually, um, yeah, I'm going to get another card for the high priestess. High Priestess, please and thank you. Okay, Twin Flames came out. So this is the knowing about the connection, but this is also an energy, what I was getting. Um, what also came through was the transformation. Your, your, your intuition and your inner knowing and your truth, your clear cognizant gift of intuition as the divine feminine about how to transform something through this teaching and learning okay transformation through this aspect of teaching and learning and it's connected to the twin flames energy okay and then we'll get another we have reunion soul ties here So this is a this is like some kind of learning, right? This is a learning experience and this is something following the intuition. The intuition is the way to go, you know, rather than the head space. It's all about the intuition, it's all about the soul. The soul guiding, the heart guiding, and you being in the stability here with this connection. And there's, there's a transformative energy here, okay? So we're going to find out about the star now. Actually, we'll find out about the environment in the reversed. <clears throat> Thank you. Separation. So this is having to do with guarded here. So this is the guarded um, in relation to change. vulnerability feeling guarded afraid to be vulnerable so not knowing um, 
not knowing how things are going to change and somebody being guarded. So let's get the message here. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's find out now what's your message here. What's what's going to take place here or what needs to take place? What's going to take place with the Queen of Pentacles, High Priestess? Teaching and learning twin flames. What's going to take place with this? Okay, there's things going to be turning in a good way. Something really good is going to come in with this energy here. Okay, we have a fortune. There it is. It landed on Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords here. Okay, something's going to happen good regarding this King of Swords energy. It could be related to this masculine energy that things are going to turn. Because remember in the other readings, we seen the King of Swords energy. And then it was like somebody was afraid of this King of Swords energy or the sword energy or whatever. Um, because then the intuition was the heart. Something's going to turn regarding this King of Swords. King of Swords is like very strong minded. Sometimes they're cold and detached as well. They, they could be like more like head driven, right? Rather than heart driven. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just the energy of how this is, right? But when you're dealing with this twin flame connection, it's really having to go with the soul, right? The soul, the heart. Um, rather than um, being logical, it's about following the intuition, even though it may be scary. Um, so rather than just like taking this logical type of approach, but this person here has integrity as well. So there could be something here where something is going to be positive in terms of the actions, in terms of integrity of a masculine, this masculine here. And then here we have the bottom of the deck. We have the Page of Cups, which is a, fa a feminine energy in this picture. But in this deck here, this is somebody very, very loving, very sensitive, very creative. Um, this could be somebody younger. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, the, the King of Swords can be the water sign. I mean, not water sign, air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have another Aquarius here. We have the Earth signs, okay? Um, so there's pentacles here as well. So um, basically all the signs are here, all right? So we're gonna find out about this King of Swords here. Oh, wow. We have Seven of Swords at the bottom here with that. Oh no, I already said the Page of Cups, sorry about that. Oh, there it is. Okay, spirituality, oh my, okay. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Are you? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm getting excited because, like, remember I was just talking about this head thing? Um, too much head space. And then the soul, con the twin flame connection. You always got to follow your heart. And you got to be in surrender as well, too. So something's going to happen here, maybe with this rigidity i'm gonna find out what what is the situation with the king of swords here whoops what is the situation here with the king of swords please and thank you <clears throat> what is the situation of the king of swords here <clears throat> what is the situation thank you one more thank you okay bottom of the deck forming structure foundation okay so let's see what the cards say. Okay, we have a uh, passionate new start, Ace of Fire, chemistry. Oh my goodness. So passionate new start, fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, passion and chemistry here. Look at this. The two of them very, wow. Look at them. They're so, you cannot, they're like so into each other and they're in the water. They're in the thick of the emotions with each other. Um... Some kind of new start here. Things are going to turn here. <sighs> Relating to this connection. I do feel like if this was Twin Flames, this would be Twin Flames again. Um, but here we have the King of Swords. Here we have High Priestess. 
but this is going to change the wheel the wheel's going to turn regarding this energy and maybe this masculine's um uh this masculine's here maybe his belief that he was holding on very strongly connected to um spirituality but this person's belief here is a new start with um, chemistry. The situation here. So he's holding on to the, this king of swords is holding on to something that is about a new start with, with chemistry. All right. And I'm going to find out now what is the connection here um, with this king of swords and spirituality. It's It says here forming a structure, a solid structure. So... It's something to do with solid foundations, like forming. This is the starting of something here. So let's uh, see what the connection of King of Swords and spirituality is. Whoa. Okay, so there's a burden here. And it flew on top of Queen of Pentacles. So I do feel like this burden with in connection to the Divine Feminine here. Um... The burden with forming a solid structure with this feminine here. The wheel is going to turn. But the connection with this king of swords and this new start with the spirituality is a burden. Okay, I'm going to find out what this... Um, I get another card for this spirituality. Okay, spirituality, please and thank you. Spirituality. One card for spirituality. Thank you. Mature man. So we have another masculine here. Um, and this is um, uh, some kind of judgment call here. Some kind of pleading your case. And what is the verdict of your case? What is person one doing here? What is person two doing here? This could be a judgment call from spirit because it's, this is about spirituality here. Um, oh. Okay, I'm going to get one more card. Connection with uh, spirituality here. Mature man. facade limitations and fears decisions here Okay, so inside of uh, this masculine spirituality, maybe some kind of spiritual beliefs here, there may be something that is, um, it's like this person is looking at themselves and they're looking at what is real and what is a facade in terms of their beliefs. And this could be the limitations, all right, or the fears that this masculine is holding, all right? And this is part of their spiritual journey, part of their spiritual path. Currently, right now, um, this masculine is holding a very strong sword here. This strong sword here is about this having a new start with this connection. I'm getting here, not sure what this gonna it's gonna look at, what it's gonna be, but this masculine here is trying to make some kind of decisions in forming a solid structure as it relates to his spiritual path, as it relates to his growth as a sovereign, divine, masculine being, 
but what's happening here is something is turning in the favor something is turning here um, and I'm going to get a clarifier here for the Wheel of Fortune. Please and thank you. And then I'm going to end this. Can you clarify the Wheel of Fortune? Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Look at her. She's so freaking beautiful. Oh my god. Okay. So, it, I do feel like it connects to this teaching and learning here she's she's in the high priestess she's in the heart she's in the she's following the soul i do feel like something here is going to be connected to the divine feminine turning something she's turning something something's going to happen i'm going to get another clarifier for the empress empress oh my gosh are you oh my gosh are you kidding me Look at all this beautiful energy um, around Divine Feminine. Like, oh my goodness. <clears throat> it seems like somebody is going to put all of their, all of their wishes and dreams are in this Divine Feminine. Turning the wheel here. This is what's going to happen here. So something very positive here. You know what I mean? I, I do feel like it's positive. The Wheel of Fortune is there. Empress, Ten of Cups. The King of Swords here is holding this passionate new start with this chemistry. Right? But he's holding it as the King of Swords. So he's in his integrity in relation to this. And there is some kind of maybe beliefs here in the spirituality that this person is lurk working on. Maybe realizing, okay, what are my limitations here? And this is the burden because he it has this truth here. And then now he's looking at this. And this is what the burden is right but it just seems like here divine feminine is bringing such a good energy like she's bringing something extra she's bringing her divine feminine energy into this situation here and it's just i don't know it just seems to be like i don't know something really good something positive here all right so i'm gonna leave it at that So we'll go on to the next part. All right, so we're getting into the next part here. And we have here Ten of Swords. We have this separation and this unhealthy environment, the wish as it relates to this environment and this separation. So what's going to happen here is angel suffers in spirit for the highest good of all that you could share with this ten of swords the star separation and environment <clears throat> i gotta shuffle it really good here before we start star separation environment okay we're getting started here this card came out the first time and it came out again judgment oh my gosh a rebirth is going to happen here in relation to an indecision Okay, judgment. Okay, there's going to be a rebirth of coming out of heartbreak here.
Okay, the strength card was in the reverse tier. Somebody not being in their strength and power. The unhappiness. Okay, judgment, three of swords, strength. What is this connected to? Three of swords, strength reversed. thank you spiritual partnership here so the pain getting out of pain the lack of the power there's going to be a rebirth of the spiritual partnership here it's related to health um you know, getting stronger mind, body, spirit, putting your energy into your own health and wellness. Um, the health associated with this unhappiness. I'm going to clarify the judgment card. Judgment is a, a call. It's a call like from the angels, like change needs, like change is going to happen. Like this angel is blowing the horn here. It's happening. She's, it's already happening. Like it, it's going to happen. Judgment. This is from divine energy. Can you clarify the judgment? this emperor oh my gosh are you oh my gosh are you kidding me <laughs> so the emperor is going to reverse this spiritual partnership okay so that's freaking amazing i'm gonna get another clarifier for the emperor okay please and thank you like the emperor is like the divine masculine energy and this is the, the full leader. This is all the kings in, in all. Okay. Clarify the emperor. Wow. I love that. So beautiful. I love it. Eight of pentacles. Yes. There's going to be mastery here. Somebody's going to be working on this. And it's the masculine, right? I do feel like it's the masculine here. Really working hard on his, um, his, um, I guess you could say maybe it's a duty for him or his responsibility to be the divine masculine. Um, but there's an energy here of the spiritual partnership. So there's another aspect. It's not just about him being the divine masculine here we're seeing energy as it relates to the spiritual partnership so it seems like he wants to put in work here into the spiritual partnership here um and 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 that's what's going to happen this is the fortune of the reading here so that's the reading this is in relation to health and i do feel like this is about his health and this could be how his health, how he needs to be in good health so that he could be a good leader. But not only that, but he could be a good divine masculine to, to his divine counterpart, the divine feminine in a spiritual partnership. So there is a spiritual element to this, very spiritual element to this connection. We have something spiritual working together. This could be about working together spiritually. Um, maybe working together, um, collaborating spiritually, okay? Um, this card flew out here. We have conflict here. I'm going to see why this is flying out. Why is the Five of Wands here? <clears throat> okay, so it's it could be what I was just talking about. To get stronger, to move away from this conflict, to be in the power to have the strength to move on the chariot of the light in the dark within to move forward here. 
And this is connected to this work of the spiritual partnership, I do feel. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's what's coming through, guys. Um, sorry you didn't see it, but here you go. I love you guys and all the best. Please do leave a like and thank you so much for all your love. Until next time.